all right guys welcome back to the channel how about we do a quick wheel swap on the new holly 55 gasser no details in the front no details in the back plastic base rivet in the front axle as you know there's another casting where it has the rivet back here so let's drill this apart and I'll be back. Use the small drill bit again to create the hole for. Uh, let me make sure I'm not gonna go over. No. Nope. Make sure we create the hole for the screw. Dremel, clean the edges, and we want to make sure that everything goes back together. Just put this back on just to make sure. I think I'm gonna have to clean a little better up in the front. Nope, perfect. Perfect. Now it's time to tap the hole. Make sure you continue to go all the way out to remove those little uh, metal pieces that the tool is cutting. And in a situation like this, where you have a short post, it's a good idea to cut your tap that way you get a uh, get threads deeper in the hole I think I mentioned that before but just in case just in case no oil I use beaks wax to lubricate and 
since I'm going in and out all the way the channel is getting clean so nothing gets stuck the base let's remove those wheels for that I got a small flat tip right here I'm going to lift the original tabs here to reuse them you hear this one on the front partially broke no matter let me open this one a little bit more got a replacement wheels and axle correct size for a gasser so I don't need to uh, create a new axle for it use this to support and just use the flat tip to close up the the tap again again it's sometimes easier if you use the handle when you have the three three pins there you go let's put it back together nice and beautiful 256 times 316 316 is the length 256 button head screws somebody left a comment asking me if uh, these were over the counter or prescription and they are over the counter because you could buy them anywhere I hope you get that joke really do got the screw going back in perfect keep in mind that this is all one take I haven't stopped recording perfect I try to I always forget something when I'm recording videos this time I try to get everything here so I got a gray sharpie here or silver, I don't know what's the, yeah, silver metallic. We're gonna do the headlight here. I should have grabbed one with a better tip, but I think this one will work. Let's do the signal light here. Let's do the tail light. Let's see if I can make sure I cover or all, all the area here. I usually do this with the car really close up to my face while it's off acrylic markers somehow I always get asked where can I buy this where can I buy that 
everything I use in the videos on all videos the links are in the video description so we got some orange here There you go. The red. See, the good thing is that the Sharpie dries real quick and this acrylic paint dries up real quick. Now if this would have been a full-blown custom all these details will be covered with a clear coat but this was a, a wheel swap quick wheel swap so I'm not gonna clear coat it let's do the the handlebars here this is where you need a, a really nice sharpie you see i'm not even making any i'm not even going to try to do the the keyhole there because i know i'm going to mess it up the sharpie is not good enough for that it's got to be very very fine and there it is boys wheel swap with details coco oh yeah we need a license plate. There it is. Wheel swap details under 12 minutes. Thank you for watching. A peace out.